Happy Christmas to you all. Christmas in normal times can be a busy time of year, filled with joy of carol singing, presents, and celebrations with family and friends. But this year, Christmas may be a lonely time, shaped by sadness and memories. This Christmas we pause and reflect. We unwrap the true gift of Christmas, a moment of peace in the busyness, or a breakthrough of hope in our sadness, or a rediscovery of love and joy in relationships that has become stressed. Our prayer for you this morning is that the service may help you unwrap in your own life God's gift peace, love and joy. May your Christmas journey lead you closer not just to the heart of Christmas, but to the person of Jesus whose birth we celebrate on this wonderful day. And so our opening prayers. Witness the words of ancient prophets fulfilled. Christ is born in Bethlehem. Hear the songs of the angels in the night sky. Christ is born in Bethlehem. Repeat the shouts of joyful shepherds. Christ is born in Bethlehem. Let us sing our Advent wreath song as children from Young Voices Choir light our Advent wreath. He is the Lord of Lords and He is the King of Kings. 
Christ is born in Bethlehem. Glory to God in the highest heaven. Amen. Let us sing our opening carol. Hark the herald angels sing. As we kneel before your crib, with angels and shepherds, with Mary and Joseph, with sheep and oxen, Lord Jesus, be born in us today. We are forgiven. With the God who loved the world so much that he sent his Son to be our Saviour, Forgive us our sins and make us holy to serve him in the world. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And the prayer of call it, or the special prayer for Christmas Day. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, 
Your birth at Bethlehem draws us to kneel in wonder at heaven touching earth. Accept our heartfelt praise as we worship you, our Saviour and our eternal God. Amen. Let us listen to our first reading from Psalm 96, read by Elliot Winterbottom from Bishop Lisey School and member of St. James Church family. Psalm 96, praise to God who comes to us. O sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord, all the earth. Sing to the Lord, bless his name. Tell of his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the nations, his marvellous works among all the peoples. Honour and majesty are before him. Strength and beauty are in his sanctuary. Ascribe to the Lord, O families of the people. Ascribe to the Lord's glory and strength. Worship the Lord in holy splendour. Tremble before him all the earth. Say, among the nations, the Lord is king. The word is firmly established. It shall never be moved. He will judge the peoples with equity. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you, Elliot, for reading our scriptures this morning. May God bless you. Let us receive our Gospel reading read by Mayor of Sutton Coalfield, Councillor Jane Parson. Hallelujah, hallelujah, the Word became flesh and dwelt amongst us, and we have seen his glory. Hallelujah, hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The shepherds and the angels. In that region there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Saviour, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in blunt of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth. Peace amongst those whom he favours. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Thank you, Mayor, for bringing our scripture reading to us. May God bless you and the work of the Royal Southern Town Council. And our reflections on Christmas Day. Let us pray. Lord, this is your word and we are your people. Open the words to our hearts as we open our hearts to your living word of comfort and joy. As Archbishop Justin reflects this Christmas Day, a light amidst the difficulties of this year has been the way people have cared for each other with generosity and courage. Cynicism about community has often been overwhelmed by love for neighbour. We have seen that love in action, haven't we? That in our community with sacrifice and joy. For more than 200 members of church, family, Sutton community coming together for one of the biggest crisis response since the Great Wars. We have come together to listen to those hurting with loneliness and isolation and we have said we are here for you. Hope Healthline is helping many and helped by many, as God is here with us in the Christ child. We have taken courage and inspiration from each individual who generously gave for the way we take care of each other. I have with me today the first donation by the lovely lady 
who gave us four pounds for the work of hope for some. I want to thank her and each and every one of you for your trust and support. It has been a stressful and anxious year, but we as church family have not shut ourselves off from each other. There have been countless wonderful acts of kindness and care, often sacrificial ones. We have seen these acts of goodness in healthcare workers and in our local school staffs. We have seen them in the community and in our neighborhood when we work together as churches to transform our communities. From food sharing arrangements with United Reformed Church in Sutton Town Centre to St. Chad's Church led by Reverend Jonathan and his leadership in Falcon Lodge Community Forum. Most often, our acts of goodness have come not from power or position, but from love and vulnerability. As Christians, we try to live like Christ. That's exactly the sort of love that we celebrate at Christmas. Love that gets its hands dirty. Love that is open and generous. Love that without a great ceremony makes the difference. I'm planning to visit that lady who gave us our first donation from Falcon Lodge later today while maintaining social distance to say thank you and to say happy Christmas to her. May we find that love, God's love in Jesus Christ this Christmas. May we share that love, God's love in us this Christmas. And as we receive, and as we give, may we know the comfort and the joy that is God's gift to us. May you all have a blessed Christmas and a happy new year when it comes. Spoken in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And let us receive our prayers for the community offered by Reverend Judith Ramble, Associate Minister at St. James Church. Let us pray. Jesus Christ, born in a stable, be with the poor and homeless this Christmas time. Half the herald angels sing, glory to the newborn King. Jesus Christ, born of Mary, be with all mothers across the world this Christmas time. Hark, the herald angels sing, glory to the newborn King. Jesus Christ, visited by shepherds, be with all who have to work this Christmas and those who long to work. Hark, the herald angels sing, glory to the newborn King. Jesus Christ, who became a refugee, be with those who fear for their lives, and those who have left homes and families this Christmas. Hark, the herald angels sing glory to the newborn King. And so we bring all our prayers together with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, 
as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. So let us sing our final carol this morning, the first Noel.
May Emmanuel, God with us, be with you in all your doings and all your celebrations until he brings you into his eternal kingdom. Amen. And may Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit bless you now and forever. Amen. As we journey through the Christmas season, Jesus Christ journeys with you. May we know God's comfort in whatever our circumstances and be surprised by God's joy for our lives. In the name of Christ. Amen. <laughs>